After this tour, I have a whole new appreciation for dandelions. I'm Allie Smalls. Today is a really cool video. I've got my mom and my sister with me. Over the next couple of days, we're going on a wine and wellness road trip through Alberta. We're gonna sip our way through Alberta's bountiful landscape and embark on a really cool and unique culinary and agritourism adventure. So if you're looking for something unique to do this summer, you're gonna love this wine and wellness road trip. We're starting in Edmonton and working our way south, but if you're from Calgary, you can easily follow this itinerary in reverse. Our first stop is at the Solarzano Cafe and Wine Bar. And this is no ordinary spa. It's in this historic, beautiful home, as you can see behind me. And they've got some really interesting spa treatments and it has something to do with vino therapy. As you can see, the inside of this house is so cozy. They've kept the character of this historic home between the antique decor and the vintage wallpaper. It is so cute in here. This is Alberta's only wine spa where you can be pampered in wine-based spa treatments like a Merlot foot soak and pedicure and Zinfandel based facials. We just had the most relaxing massage and facial. There was a bit of Zinfandel in there. It was so soothing, absolutely heaven. All right, so we just finished our massages and facials, which were Amazing. And now look at this adorable little tea set and meat and cheese tray they've set out for us. Okay, we're stopping for lunch here at Field and Forge. This is one of my favorite craft breweries and gastro pubs in all of Alberta. It is definitely a hidden gem because it's found in the small town of Innisfail. It's this really cool open concept brewery where the restaurant is kind of right in the middle of everything. So you walk in and you really smell the yeast and the mash happening. So this is really cool immersive experience. Life is good, best I've ever felt. It's a beautiful summer day. We're sitting on the patio. We're uh, just waiting for our flights of beer. We ordered something called white chocolate almond stout. I'm really excited to try it. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Okay, so we finished lunch at Field and Forge, and then we drove about an hour and a half to get here to Spirit Hills Flower Winery. This is one of the most unique wineries you're ever gonna visit. The way they make wine here is totally unique and unlike anywhere else in the world. They use dandelions for their wine. After this tour, I have a whole new appreciation for dandelions. Upon 
Upon entering the tour and tasting room, we felt like we were transported to an old world rustic French winery somewhere in Bordeaux. We started with a tour where we learned about the vital role of bees and wildflowers in not only wine production, but much of our food as well. Instead of fermenting sugars from grapes, at this winery they ferment flower sugars in the form of flower nectar. This includes delicately hand-picking dandelion petals. Then we moved on to the wine tasting, where we sampled seven different mead wines starting with the white tail, which is infused with violet flowers and aged in American oak barrels. It reminded me of a clean, full-bodied Sauvignon Blanc. We made our way through a couple of reds, starting with a medium dry red, and this was made with black currants aged in Hungarian oak. It had almost a peppery mouth and very similar to a red grape wine. Then we went back to a white wine, which was their flagship and most unique blend, their dandelion wine and you'd be really surprised about this unique wine. On the nose, it's delicate and smells like wildflowers on a sunny day, and on the tongue, it's balanced, buttery, with hints of berries. What do you think, chilled? In its state. I like it chilled. chilled. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. apparently this one can be chilled or warm. Very versatile. Next, we sampled the bonfire made with berries, cinnamon, and cloves. This one was so unique. It can be served chilled or warmed. I want this in the winter. It tastes so different. It's bringing out the cinnamon vibes. Because these wines are made with honey, wildflowers, and berries like black currants and Saskatoons, on average there are over a hundred times more antioxidants in a bottle of mead produced here compared to red grape wines. Okay, we just finished a really super fun wine tasting. I think we left with way too much wine, hey? Woo! <laughs> what Not do you bad. Think? <laughs> <laughs> Only a case and a bit, right? It's really good stuff here and it is so scenic up here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And fun fact, this entire area is actually used for the setting of the TV show Heartland. So it's a really, really picturesque, beautiful, beautiful area. Just checked in to the Azeridge Hotel for the night. If you want to be treated like royalty, you definitely need to stay a night or two here at the Azeridge. Every room comes with their own butler. Oh my gosh, I've never had more personalized, amazing service at any hotel. This was absolutely incredible. This property is absolutely stunning. You really do have to see it for yourself. I'm gonna show you some of the footage. Upon check-in, we were greeted with a welcome drink, Nature's Diamond. It was made with elderflower liquor, vermouth, and curacao pearls, a secret recipe made by their in-house mixologist. The pearls represent the azure blue skies and then eventually turn into an evergreen color to represent the lush forest that surrounds the property. room is so luxurious. There's this gorgeous patio with this absolutely amazing, amazing view behind me.
It is Sunday morning, a little cloudy, a little overcast, but the air out here is so fresh. So we grabbed a few coffees at the little coffee bar inside, and now we're gonna go on a little bit of a hike. There's some walking trails throughout the property. There's a couple watchtowers and observation decks where you can just see the entire ridge. It looks gorgeous. What a great way to spend a Sunday morning. And uh, there's lots of really great hiking trails throughout the forest. Apparently there's like some creatures. Um, you never know what you might find. Up here in the watchtower, look at this incredible view. It's a bit of a climb, but so worth it. Can you imagine sunsets from up here? Okay, we just stopped in Pritis, Alberta at the View and Brew Bistro. This is a super cute historic home that has been converted into this cute little bistro eatery. So we're gonna go inside and uh, order some brunch. The views are amazing and the food is even better here. I got the curtains up. All right, we made it to Fallen Timber Meadery. We're gonna do a tour and a tasting and uh, they make a really, really cool product here. I can't wait to show it to you. It has something to do with a mojito. So let's go in for a tour and a tasting. It's a day I really Their traditional mead is light, floral, and crisp, and aged inside whiskey barrels. So you do get hints of whiskey in this one too. And their Saskatoon mead is made with Saskatoon berries and produces a bright, tart, and earthy mead with a very, very deep color. We also sampled a piment, which is a mead combined with grapes from the Naramata Bench in the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia. This combination produces a full-bodied red, which swirls into a port-like flavoring with a touch of oak. Look at the coloring on this. This deep, deep red. Apparently really good on vanilla ice cream. And then we finished with their most popular drinks, which are their sparkling meads. And the best-selling product is the Mijito, which is very similar to a mojito. But instead of rum, it uses mead, and they combine that with honey, lime, and mint and produce this ultra-refreshing mead-based cocktail. Ah, so <laughs> delicious. So refreshing. <laughs> oh, and right, so if you guys want to grab straws, you're going to go on the rest good. of the tour. So if you want to grab straws, <laughs> I'll hand them to you as I, I finish them out the employee door. Excuse me. And when you visit the tasting room, you can even order this in slushy form.
Okay, it tastes like solid honey, I guess. It's good, it's sweet. All right, so that was the last stop on our wine and wellness tour. I hope you had a really fun time discovering new places with me. If you want to follow this itinerary, check out my blog post, it's linked below. I have all the details, all the information that you need to follow along on the same itinerary, but there's also a lot of other spots I've included on there that we didn't get a chance to hit on this trip. So if you want to extend your wine and wellness itinerary to three days or five days, even take a week traveling through the province. There's a lot of other great places, more wineries that we didn't get a chance to hit, a few good restaurants and hidden gems. So definitely check that out as well. And if you're looking for more things to do in Alberta, stay tuned to the channel. I've got lots of ideas and more videos like this coming your way. So please like and subscribe and share it with your friends and have a great time on your Alberta road trips. Thanks for watching.